Okay, we'll go ahead and start here. Uh, my name is Dallas Mount. I'm with the University of Wyoming Extension Service, and we're also joined by Aaron Berger. I'm Aaron Berger from the University of Nebraska Lincoln Extension, and an educator in the Southwest Panhandle of Nebraska. Okay, so the idea today is to go through uh, the pres uh, presentation on how to calculate unit cost of production of a cow calf enterprise, and uh, this presentation was developed for the High Plains Ranch Practicum School. And uh, this is a school that Aaron and I coordinate together. It occurs in southeast Wyoming, western Nebraska. And we focus on a lot of different things having to do with ranching. And our, our slogan is providing ranchers a systems approach to decision making in the complex and exciting business of ranching. So uh, this is kind of the, the makeup of the school. We usually start in June and run through January, meeting eight full days during that time. Uh, have about 20 to 30 students and we have 13 instructors involved so it's not just Aaron and I talking to you it's a lot of neat guys this here is Pat Reese he lives in the Scotts Bluff area and works as a range management professional in the area and uh, this is the class from two years ago out on a site near Scotts Bluff doing some some rangeland management so it's a really neat class and uh, we sure enjoy all the folks that we get to meet in there anything to add on that Aaron? No, I think uh, we do just have some excellent instructors, and these are folks that are uh, at the top of the notch in terms of being professionals in their industry. You have folks like Harlan Hughes, uh, Tom Field, Trey Patterson. So we really feel like we bring an excellent uh, group of instructors who can provide some both applied experience and bring some um, academic research experience to that whole program. If you want more information on the school, you can check out our website there at hpranchpracticum.com. So, all right, we'll jump into it here. So, what is unit cost of production? And why should you be interested in it? Well, uh, we're going to use the acronym UCOP for the day, and let me get a pointer here. Uh, UCOP is a, again short for unit cost of production, and the cool thing about this this ratio is everything that goes on in the ranch. In terms, and we're talking about the cow calf business here, and we'll talk about that a little bit more. Everything that goes on in the cow calf business can be described in this ratio. Uh, anything that, that has to do in the cost side of the herd, so maybe we're talking about buying a new bull, maybe we're talking about spending money on a vaccination program, uh, maybe we're talking about uh, anything to, to increase uh, something there to increase production. Uh, anything that goes on the cost side of it goes on the top of this ratio. And anything on the production side of it goes in the bottom of this ratio. So maybe we got more weaning weight this year. Uh, maybe we lost pounds, didn't get the cows bred quite as well. That part all goes in the bottom. So anything you do in this business is going to affect this ratio, uh, this unit cost of production. Uh, so that's why it is, it is such an important number to know. So let me ask you this question. And this is something that's been talked around a lot in the beef industry. What is the best measurement for ranch financial performance. And Aaron, what do you think a few things that people like to measure on the ranch would be? Well, I think that one of the primary things is looking at how many pounds of calf did I wean. Okay, so maybe weaning weight. And uh, I know I've been to a lot of beef industry meetings and for uh, a few few years ago, everybody used to talk about, well, what's this gonna do to your weaning weight? Well, okay, there there's a measurement on the ranch. And is that the best measurement of financial performance? Well. I think we could look at some data that would suggest probably not. Uh, what has our weaning weight in this industry been doing for the last 10 years? Well, Dallas has been creeping up and creeping up. Yeah. And what has our profitability been in this business? Uh, in general, I think folks would say we've been seeing less profitability, especially in the last few years. Okay. So money's going down. So is weaning weight very highly correlated with profitability? No, it sure isn't. I don't think so either. So weaning weight is maybe not the best best measurement of profitability. Well, uh, to cut to it here, I, we think unit cost of production is, and uh, here we go, clear that off a little bit. And, and unit cost of production is probably the highest correlated measurement that you can have for estimating profitability of your cow-calf business. Uh, as, as unit cost of production goes down, meaning it costs you less, to produce a pound of calf, what's your profitability going to do? Well, you sure would think it would go up. Yep, and it does. So that that right there is is the best estimate for measuring ranch financial performance. So if you want to make more money in this business, then you need to 
lower your unit cost of production. There's there's two ways to do that. You want to take a stab at them, Aaron? Well, I guess if I could lower my cost with keeping the amount of pounds I sell the same, that should make it lower. Yep, you got it. So again, that ratio looks like this, right? It's total cost over total pounds of production. So Aaron's saying there, well, if I can lower my cost, then I'm going to make this number go down. Okay, and he's right. So what's the other way to do it? Well, if I could raise more pounds at the same cost, that would make that number go down too. You got it, exactly. So there's two ways to attack this number. Reduce your cost and keeping your pounds produced similar or about the same without sacrificing a lot here, or increase your pounds produced without affecting your cost a lot. Now, I, there's a couple strategies there, and I think uh, producers have been doing a darn good job at this lower one here. We, we as an industry are darn good at being efficient in terms of our pounds of production. And uh, I think the more opportunities to reduce unit cost of production probably lie in this upper number here, reducing our cost. So is there a way we can do it cheaper? Can we reduce money on feed expenditures? Can we reduce our overhead on, on uh, machinery? Those kind of things. So, uh, so if you want to make more money in this business, lowering your unit cost of production is the way to do it. And these are the two strategies to do it. And, and I think there's more opportunities in this top one, but perhaps some folks uh, are going to find that they, are, they do have some opportunities in this bottom one here. So, all right, any questions on that, Aaron? Are we ready to get in the nuts and bolts of this? Yeah, I think we're ready to go. Okay. Okay, oh, one more uh, thing here, a little bit of background. This is a chart that's been out for several years and it's a little bit outdated, uh, but the point is not where these numbers are. The point is, uh, is how this fluctuation occurs. This is dollars per head return to cow-calf businesses throughout the whole United States. And this is compiled by Cattle Facts. And uh, look back in here, so we're back in the early 80s. Uh, that, you know, if the people folks were about breaking even, then we went negative for a while. and. Then we came back on the positive side. You know, over the long run, this business is just about a break-even business, okay? Folks are, are spending just about as much to raise a pound of calf as they are getting back in, in, from that. Now, the important thing here is look at the variation of this. We've got a grouping of high-return producers, our high-profit producers, and we've got a grouping of our low-return producers, or folks that are, are not making very much money on this. Look at these high-profit producers. Where is that line? just about always above zero as we go through this chart here. Just a couple years there where they, they dip below zero, but and then some years where they were way above zero, making almost $200 a head. And I think if this chart would have gone out into some of the last years, again, this has some estimates here, uh, we would have seen some, some of these numbers keep going up. So, uh, and look at our low return producers. These guys are losing money every year. I mean, it takes a really good year for these guys to make some money. So the question I want to ask you, and I want to have you answer for yourself, how profitable is your ranch? Are you a high cost producer or a low cost producer? Our high cost producers are going to be these low return producers right here. And our low cost producers, the guys who have a low unit cost of production, they're going to be the group right up here in this high return. So where do you fit? Where is your ranch? And, and how do you know this? Well. I'm here to tell you most producers really don't know where they fall. They don't know how to figure this number, uh, this unit cost of production number, and uh, they, there might be some estimates, well, we made some money this year, or those kind of things, but we really don't know. So uh, this calculating your unit cost of production will help you determine where you fall on this. And if you see that you fall right down in here somewhere, well, then the next question is, how do I get up here? And then if you can get up here, how do I get up here? How do I become one of these guys? So that's really the crux of this thing. Okay, I think we're ready now. All right.